Welcome to Mizdahan Necropolis, which is an ancient, over 2,000 years old cemetery for Zoroastrianism. Now it serves as a Muslim burial site, which has its own uniqueness as well. In the seventh century, this place was taken over by Muslims, and the religion of Zoroastrianism was eradicated pretty much in all of Central Asia. This cemetery is 200 hectares. I mean, it's unbelievably huge. Look at this. Here, this cemetery, the way the burials happen of today and in the past 100 years for the Muslims, it's quite fascinating because they put the bricks around the grave site towards the grave, covered with the wood. Very strange, but let me show you up close. First, the deceased is washed and wrapped in a white shroud. Then the body is wrapped in several more fabrics and sometimes even in the carpet, with quotes from the Quran embroidered on them. The deceased is laid on a tabud, which is the latter looking object, and carried to the cemetery. The body is placed in the grave in only one shroud and his head is turned towards Mecca. However, the grave is not buried, it is covered with wooden beams, then reeds are placed over and finally covered with earth. With time, reeds fall through, therefore we can see an opening to the grave. On top of the grave or near it, they leave the tabid. People believe that in the other world, the tabid turns into a horse and the disease continues on his way. So you cannot leave the grave without this attribute. This process is done in few regions only, not in the whole country. The region of Karal Pakistan is an autonomous republic in Uzbekistan. It used to be part of the Kazakhstan before World War II, I believe. And after that, after the collapse of Soviet Union, it stayed with Uzbekistan. There has been no any uprisings or any demands to gain independence, which is quite impressive. This is the hill of the old settlement of Miskade that is now slowly evaporating, I would say. But uh, there is some similarity between the barrel of Zoroastrians and the current day Muslims that are from this region. It's a mix of two religions. That's what I really think about this. That has resulted in this type of burial. I finally see it. It's right there. The world clock. I walked the whole cemetery just to find this. In Mizda Khan, there's a famous legend that has been reinforced throughout the centuries that Adam's grave was found here in 700 AD and over his grave was built a mausoleum. This mausoleum is now the reason why this place is the holy holy place and of all the religions. So this imaginary grave has a special meaning because it is considered as the world clock. Supposedly by the time these bricks fall until the last brick, when the last brick falls it will be the beginning of the end of the world. It's the apocalypse clock. That's what they so they call it. What do you think? So when the pilgrims come here, they notice the apocalypse clock. They assemble these bricks together that have fallen. It's for the God to hear their prayers. Please save us. Look, you can see all these bricks. And there's a legend also that this cemetery is associated with number seven. You'll always run into number seven. And then throughout time, they started to build this little pyramid with the composition of seven, seven bricks. The same applies to here. That is my contribution for the gods to hear, 
to please save us. Don't let this world end. I know we've created a humanity that is not so compassionate and not in harmonic peace. We are fighting because of actually, of actually religions. And it's really sad. So from the Necropolis Cemetery, we just came to the Mizdak Hans settlement. This is what's left of it, the walls. What I'm noticing here is there are a lot of brick. A lot of brick that is in pieces. I think these are the bricks from the, the housing structures and the complexes that were built here. Okay, we're at the top of the Mizdakan settlement. These are the walls that are left that were built 400 years before Jesus Christ. So these are some ancient walls that will eventually disappear and possibly soon within a decade. These mud walls cannot withstand rain and this cons constant wind that you can probably hear in this video. Because the settlement of Mizda Khan were Zoroastrians and their cemetery was here and when the Arabs took over they found Adam's grave. Not only did the cemetery become holy for the pilgrims but also this village whatever you want to call it. You can see the bricks in the sevens as well being built here. The pilgrims are asking the gods to hear the prayers, to save us, to save us from destruction, from the apocalypse. That is, it's going to occur one way or another. Now we're headed to the ultimate place where we will see the example of how Zoroastrians performed the burial of the deceased. Welcome to the Tower of Silence. Because in Zoroastrianism, when the human dies, the body is considered impure, so it carries within itself some sort of demons or devils. And since they were the first ecologist and their God was praising to care for everything that he built. So you have to treat everything that God built with love and respect. That means not polluting land, rivers and the atmosphere. But if you consider the body, a, hum a human diseased body, an impure part element that should not contaminate the land, then you need to get rid of it somehow. And the ways that they get, got rid of it is they built these type of large towers, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of strange as well to step inside a pit that was designed for dead bodies. Here you can see the Amudaria River. I'm on top of the Shilpak or Dharma in its native language or in English the Tower of Silence. It's 49 feet tall and stands in the middle of this Karakalpakstan desert. Supposedly the legend is the founder of Zoroastrianism who began writing the scriptures basically like the Bible of Zoroastrianism began from here from this not particularly this spot but in this area wow this is freaking high so they would bring the bodies on top of this tower place them here body would be considered as contaminated and impure and the purification process would happen through the natural elements like the birds and the creatures eating eating the body and the flesh and then when the bones are left 
they were placed in Aussie areas and that's it that's the burial system the tower was used for Zoroastrians until 7th century until the Arabs conquered this land and then after this it was used as a signal tower to signal that the conquerors or invaders are coming the enemy is coming and they would light a big fire on top of it and make sure that the villagers from far away can see it and prepare for the war or whatever it was at the time I think it's not a bad idea to have this type of a ritual for, for burials you become as a useful element for the nature this is a construction made by humans and an ancient construction over 2000 years by a religion that does not exist today the sad part is that slowly it would disappear as you can tell with rain with the wind just like the the settlement that we saw today so come visit this place in Karakalpakstan while it lasts see you till next episode